Hi, I'm Kevin Wilson, one of the Outreach Counselors for Kentucky Higher Education Assistance Authority. And today, I'd like to try to answer the question, is there such a thing as healthy borrowing? The short answer is a qualified yes. I think that the best way to view loans is as an investment. And as with all investments, some are better than others and all have inherent risk. And this is especially true for student loan borrowers. So we're gonna focus in specifically on student loans. The first step in healthy borrowing is to make sure that you do your research. For example, will that particular college degree help you with your career goals? What is the likelihood of you obtaining your desired job after college? What are your backup plans in case life happens? These are the types of questions I would encourage potential students to answer before ever borrowing a single dime. I would also encourage students to continually seek out other forms of free financial aid. In fact, my go-to recommendation is to spend at least one hour per week applying for scholarships until they no longer need to, either because it's already paid for or because they're done with higher education. Use a student loan calculator to help you create a healthy limit to your student debt, and then keep track of how much you're borrowing. Keep up with the interest payments while you're in school so that you can minimize capitalization once your repayment period starts. Understand the terms of your loan. Shop around for the loan that will best serve you. While federal loans are great, a private loan, such as the Advantage Education Loan, might actually be better. Once you're in your repayment period, be sure to make your payments on time. Personally, I set mine up for automatic withdrawal since I'm notoriously bad at forgetting to pay my bills on time. And especially important right now for many borrowers, keep in contact with your loan servicer. Look, life happens. And believe it or not, loan servicers are actually willing to work with your particular situation Maybe they can offer you an income-based repayment option or even a forbearance, but they're not going to just magically know that you need help. That only comes with good communication. These are just some ideas to keep your borrowing habits healthy, but it's certainly not an exhaustive list. Feel free to do your own research on smart borrowing. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Until next time, have a fantastic day.